Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now that you've learned how to create tables, you now need to learn how you can make selections of these new table elements. In addition to being able to select the entire table, you can also select the separate table elements, such as the cells, columns, and rows. Just as with text, once you've selected an element, you can then make changes that are applied only to the selected element. First, you'll learn how to select table objects with your mouse. To select a cell, put your mouse pointer into the lower left or upper left corner of a cell. When your mouse pointer is in the correct position, it will turn into a diagonally pointing black arrow. And when it does, you can then just click the mouse button to select the cell. Let's go ahead and look at this. So roll your mouse pointer until it turns into that diagonally pointing black arrow. Give it a click and you've selected a single cell. To select multiple cells, simply click directly into the cell and then drag your mouse pointer to select multiple adjacent cells. So for example, I could click here and drag like that. You can then release the mouse button when you have the desired cells selected. You select an entire row by placing the mouse pointer just outside of the left edge of the row that you wish to select until it turns into a small black right pointing arrow and then clicking the mouse button. Now you could also click and drag to select multiple adjacent rows like that. Selecting a column is the same except that you place the mouse pointer above the top of the column until it turns into a small black downward pointing arrow. Then you just click to select the column. And of course, we could click and drag to select multiple adjacent columns, just as we did with rows. Now you can also use the commands in the table group on the layout tab of the table tools contextual tab in the ribbon to select the same table elements. To select a table item using this method, you must first click into the cell, row, column, or table that you wish to select. Then click the Select button in the Table group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and look on the Layout tab here, and then we're going to go to the Table Groups and we'll click the Select right here. Now from the drop-down menu that appears, you can choose the appropriate command in order to select the desired object. You could choose to select cell, select column, select row, or select table. Give one of those a click and you'll make the selection. So that's how you select various table elements after you've created your table in Publisher. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.